Allow me to give a fair warning to everyone before we start this. This game is very rough. It is emotionally tough. It is one that will definitely make the normal person uncomfortable. It will make people mad. I guarantee it. I'm pretty positive about that fact. That being the case, I think that this game is very important. Very worth listening to and worth understanding and worth seeing because of its content and because of the charity it benefits. Um, there actually is a charity that benefits from the sales of this game. This was not something I decided to do easily. I'll say it that much. Um, I had to do extensive amount of research on it in order to make sure that this was a game that was appropriate for you guys. Um, is the game based on actual events and experience? Yes. This, actually, this is confirmed that it actually is based off of experiences. Because if you guys don't know, my child, Lehman's born is based off of the Liebensborn Project. The Liebensborn Project was essentially to give birth to and raise children of German soldiers um, to try and perfect a super soldier that would have a mixture of conglomerating, of like a mixture of racial traits that would make them, that would make the Nazis of Germany more powerful. So these Liebensborn children weren't exactly asked to be born. But being that World War II ended with the Nazis surrendering and obviously, obviously like the Nazis being defeated, these children had nowhere to go. Um, a lot of these children were ostracized. A lot of these children didn't even know why. They didn't know about the war. They were born in secret. They were born outside of the range of war. There's a lot more history that I'm touching upon. I'm pretty sure I'm getting some information wrong, some information, like some information correct, some information not. But in essence, this game is the aftermath of World War II and what happens or what happened to these Liebensborn children. Because in many European countries, regardless of the heritage of their fathers who essentially helped give birth to these children, all of the children of certain nations were granted and pretty much forced to return to their homes of their non-German families um, and try to acclimate to a non-German life. However, the citizens of those countries weren't necessarily happy with any sort of German people after World War II. Again, I say this very seriously, this is not a game I took lightly. This is not a game I decided to do off the whole whim. This is something I had to seriously sit upon and see if this was a thing. I'm going to give you all warnings right now. There actually is a exclamation mark trigger command. So that way you know essentially the type of content is involved. It's a cycle of hatred in essence. Yeah, in essence. And these children have to suffer the wrath of people who were dead, who were hurt by Nazis. So this game includes references of child abuse, bullying, and tragedies committed during and post World War II. Um, there is abuse, there is violence, and there is insinuated sexual content. Um, being that one of the children that you can choose from is a girl. And just as boys were constantly beat down, girls were not exactly as lucky in that regard. But I think this is absolutely necessary to hear and play and understand. Because not many people realize that the cycle of hatred goes to people who are seemingly innocent. And children of those who committed atrocities have nothing to do with their fathers or their mothers. Nothing. And yet, this game will also teach us how not to be silent when it comes to those being affected by all of this. So we're going to get started. If it gets too much, if like the majority of chats like this is too much, I will stop. I will stop this game if it becomes too much for people to handle. But I hope that we can go from the beginning to end. Let's go. 1940, World War II rages across Europe. Norway is occupied by Germany. World War II ends and Norway is liberated. The nation celebrates in 1945. 1945, after five years of occupation, the signs of the Nazi occupation can be scrubbed away. 1948, three years later, you adopt a child. 
All right, we have two children here. We have Klaus and we have Karen. Uh, as you can see, there are two children that you can choose upon to adopt. Both of them have their struggles. Both of them have their weaknesses. Um, is it better or worse than Amori was? It's of equal value. Being that you are not within the eyes of Amori, you're in the eyes of, a, of, an, of an adult who has to take care of this child. So yeah. <laughs> and sorry for the sniffles. This is just allergies. I'm not crying. It's just this allergies. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think we're gonna go with our daughter Karen. Does the parent have a gender? No. The parent does not have a gender. Um but yeah, I think we're gonna keep Karen. Alright, Karen, come on. 1951, she is growing up with me. <laughs> Welcome home. I'm home! Welcome home, Karen. Uh, let's see. Did you have fun with Kim? Hey, Karen, it was nice to you. It's getting late. Uh, did you have fun with Liv? Yep. We had so much fun. Liv is my best friend. We found this cool, kind of creepy looking stump in the forest. Really? It looked like they could be just treasure there. Real treasure. But then it started to rain. But we guarded our treasure anyway. <laughs> I'll definitely keep talking. Keep talking. I, I'll listen. And then. And then. And then. We found the tree stump was empty. But maybe the trolls might put some treasure there later. So we're gonna go back and check later. Oh my goodness. Sounds like you and Liv had fun. That's nice. Mm hmm. Huh? Oh, it's kind of late. The sun's almost gone away already. Time units. Um, as you can see that this is a caring game, it's a nurturing game where you nurture a child. Um, would you want to put a trigger in the tile? Yeah, put a trigger in the tile if you could. That would be great. Um, progress of the day by spending your available time units. Certain actions cost time to perform. Time units are indicated in the top left. Pressing the time unit icon will progress time with one unit. Okay. But, 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 you have to see this! Look! Let me give me a present for my birthday tomorrow! Oh, that's so precious. Can I open it now? I'll be so quick. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I, no. Uh, no, yeah. Liv would want you to wait. Liv would definitely want you to wait. I guess you're right. Oh, I wonder what it is. Oh. You've received mail. Press the envelope to open it. It doesn't cost any time. Okay. Neighborhood council. A cat has been seen eating flowers from the flower beds. We demand that the cat's owner keeps it inside from now on. Well, I don't own a cat in this universe, so uh, that can't be me. And a newspaper. What's that? Oh, just grown-up stuff. Blech! You're... You're not going to the study, are you? It's so boring when you go there. And you promised me a bath! Bathing. Oh, yeah, because we're in 1950s. Uh, the tub is in the bathroom. It will, it will clean Karen and her clothes, but costs a time unit. Okay. All right, kid. Time to get, take a bath. Come on. All right, so we're going to click on the bath. We're gonna... The sponge. We're gonna wash our daughter. Make sure she's nice and clean. Ba -ba 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 bubbles! All right. Very good. What's up, honey? You have something on your mind? So, is it time for dinner soon? Eating. Find food in the kitchen. Karen can eat as much as she feels like for one time unit. Okay. Alright, so let's go eat something. What do we have? What did we, well, what do we have in the so we have some gruel and a, a cheese sandwich. Um let's go ahead and have some of the gruel for right now. You have a nice little bit of gruel right there. Very good. Alright. Mm, can I have some more please? Sure, another bite. <laughs> <sighs> it's really late now. Even the sun's gone to bed. So sleepy. It must be bedtime. Sleeping. It's late and time for Karen to go to bed. Reading a bedtime story or patting Karen will increase her comfort. Okay. Can I pat you on the head? I pat you on the head. I pat you, pat you on the head. There we go. Alright, let's, let's get you to bed, honey bun. I guess okay. 
All right. Oh, I want to fall asleep right now. Then tomorrow will come more quickly. Um, we all grown up. I'm so excited. I've got three whole presents for her birthday. How many will I get? Well... Mmm, let's see. Uh... Three presents? Hmm, sounds like Liv likes to tell tales. Hmm... You'll get some nice presents? Well, I don't want to tell her, like... I don't want to just inform her that she's going to get presents. So... Three presents? Sounds like Liv likes to tell tales. Does not! <laughs> How about you just focus on having fun, okay? Yeah, I think that's the best one. Okay. Night night. The study. Mail, documents, and pictures that you collect can be found in the study. Yeah, exactly. You got one present thus far, darling. Alright, let's go to the study and read some newspapers. Letters and newspapers will gather from t over time. Reading as many in one sitting was only cost one unit of time. Alright, so... What's we got here? And, uh, okay, so... Okay, so we just gotta fill in the... There we go. In the news, national egg production is in decline. There aren't enough eggs for the export market for what is now the second week in a row. Debate continues on whether Norwegian officials should stop exporting this essential item. The income is greatly needed, but so too is the product itself. Oh my goodness. Wee. Uh, can we, uh, can we form the Karen Protector Squad? Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, so we also have a di oh precious, precious darling, and all of her pictures. All right, so it is now nighttime. Okay, uh, when you're ready to end the day, go to Karen's bedroom and tap the lamp to turn off the light. All right, very good, and tap. All righty, interesting. <sighs> Good, good morning. Oh, honey bun. Honey bun, your birthday's today. Washing. Well, wake up Karen by washing her face. Go to the bathroom sink. This is fast and does not cost time units. All right, come on, sleepyhead. Come on, let me wash your face. All right. Wash, 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 wash. Wash, 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 wash. Wash, 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 wash. <laughs> Goofball. <gasps> it's my birthday! It's my birthday! I barely slept at all and I barely slept all night. I'm seven years old now. Seven! Do I look different? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe, maybe a little. We can't lie, but maybe a little bit. You're a little bit older now. Am I a big girl now? Mm, you're, you're getting there. You're getting there. I am! Look, see? Oh. Liv was supposed to send me a birthday letter. Can we go see? Sure thing, hon. Let's go. Come on, come on. Ah, that might be it. Happy birthday. Sorry I can't be there. Can't wait for school to start so we can hang out every day. You're the best. Liv. P.S. I touched a troll yesterday. Oh. It's a letter from Liv. <gasps> she really saw a troll. I wish I could play with Liv today and every day, but... She's visiting her aunt in Jotunheim and... Oh. I mean, I have no idea where we are in comparison to that, but, uh... Okay, uh, I'm glad that she's somewhere where she she's been seeing family. Okay. This present! I nearly forgot! Can I- oh, I can open it now, right? <laughs> yes, you can. Go ahead and open it. <gasps> wow, wee! It's a ball! My very own ball! Can we play with it now? Oh my goodness. Have the ball to, th to throw the ball to Karen. Uh, playing with K Karen costs a time unit. Okay, for the birthday girl, absolutely. All right, come on, honey bun. There you go. Oop. <laughs> oh my gosh, so really cute. I cannot wait for my heart to be destroyed during this game. <laughs> so what should we do now? Spare moments. Decide how to spend your day. You only have seven time minutes per day divided over four time periods. Manage the household and care for the child. All right. I mean, that, that sounds fair. That sounds extremely fair. Okay, so, uh... Is this creepy here? I did not see creepy. <laughs> hey! Alright, so... Can we go out? Is that a thing we can do? No? We can't go out? No we have no doors! We can't even leave! Um... I guess I can feed you a little bit. Um... Since it's your birthday, how about a cheese sandwich? There you go. Cheese toast. <laughs> there you go. You know... About my birthday. Yes? 
Well, let's set her mom made a cake for her. Oh, you want a cake? Do you think... Could... Could I have one? I really like cake. Like, oh, all kids love cake. Ugh. Are you sure you don't want cabbage instead? Like a grown up! Uh, you know what? No, 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 no. I like the last one. Maybe we can bake one together if you're a good girl. I'll be good. I promise. All right. I guess we got to go get some ingredients, I guess. Tap on the window to get outside. Okay, so we're walking through the window. We're not, we don't have a door. We go through the window. <laughs> there you can find the store in other areas. Okay. So we're climbing out the window. <laughs> okay, so that's the store. Okay, um... Looks like we have 200 gold, I'm assuming? Alright, and, uh... I guess we can get some extra gruel just to have in the house. Very good. Alright, uh... I guess we click back. Okay. <gasps> Honey! I, I'm sorry. I was playing with the puddles and I got messy. My shirt is all wet and sticky. Changing clothes. Find Karen in a dry dress in the bedroom closet. Changing clothes costs a unit of time. Fair enough. All right, come on. Let's change you to another dress. Perfect. You'll match mom. You'll match me, honey bun. Ah, this feels so much better. <laughs> you needn't worry so much. Clothes get mucky sometimes. That's okay. Yeah, d don't even don't even stress it. Clothes get mucky. It's fine. You just change clothes and put it in the wash. Phew, that's good to know. So, is it nearly time to bake the cake? Ingredients. To make food with Karen, go to the kitchen counter. Got it. Alright, so... Let's go to the kitchen counter. I'm so excited! i never helped to bake a cake before! Alright. Cooking is easy. Just tap the ingredients. Each item that you cook costs a unit of time. Okay. So, we're, this is now cookie... This is like, uh... What is it? Uh... What is it? The... Uh, Cookie, the cookie clicker? It's not cookie clicker? Oh, yep, it's cookie clicker. There you go. <gasps> Look at that. That made a slice of cake. <laughs> that made a slice of cake. That was really fun. It's time for my birthday party. Well, first, it's time for your... Oh, I need to wipe your face, darling girl. Hold on. Wipe your face. Oh, my goodness, birthday girl. You should not be so dirty. Oh my goodness. All right, now we can have some of your cake, okay? All right, say, ah! <laughs> I like cake. Your cake is the best I've had. I mean, okay, you're seven. You'll have better cakes later. <gasps> you got me a present! Yes, I apparently did. Thanks, game, for giving me a present to give to her. <laughs> oh, I wonder what it is. Yes! Drawing pencils! You remember what I wanted! Thank you! You're welcome, Karen. And guess what? Oh! Yeah! School! Yeah! You, you gotta go to school! You're, you, you're an educated girl now. So, okay, yeah. Guess what? You can use them when you start school next week. Oh yeah! I nearly forgot! I can't wait! Thank you so much for my present! I love it! Oh, I know! Let's try them now! Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. You can help color my drawing! We can go to my room and draw. Let's go. Uh, psh, okay. Uh, do I have a pencil? Like, oh, okay. So it's the same as the letter. Okay. Uh, there's a purple fish under the water. Okay. That was fun. I love my new pencils. Um, can I stay up a little longer, please? I just don't want my birthday to end. It was pretty... It, w it was pretty quick. It, it definitely seemed pretty quick. Ah, you could say, oh, but if you sleep, you might grow even more. You might even turn into an eight-year-old before you know it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Bedtime for me, then. All right, get in bed, little stinker. Today was really fun. Hmm, did you have a nice birthday? I really did, thank you. We had so much fun. I just wish Liv would have been there, though. It's all right, hon. Do you think I'll get any more presents? Hmm, let's see. <sighs> well... Any more presents? I mean... Uh... Probably not, little one. It's been... It, uh... Later down the line? Maybe. 
later down the line. So we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, that would be the best! <laughs> would you read me a bedtime story? <laughs> Anything for you, darling. Yay! Story time. To read a story, tap the book until Karen falls asleep. Reading costs one time unit. Alright. So, once upon a time, there was a flying castle. The same flying castle said hello to the child on the ground before the flying castle flew into the lamp. <laughs> I don't know what to I'm just like, I figured it would be like, 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 like a little like, castle, and then like a knight, and then like a dragon, or things like that. Like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, we can't do anything anymore, so I guess we're done for the night, so... Alright. Here I am! Good morning! Good morning, Karen! <gasps> it's class starts on Tuesday! Oh my god, I need to feed you! And <laughs> it sure does! Are you excited? Just one more day! Oh, I can barely wait! That's good! Alright, let's feed you some food, my darling dear! There you go. Just a little bit of food. Yeah, don't have much, because we gotta save money. Maybe, um, we could have some different food soon? <laughs> I mean, as much as the idea is a great idea, honey, uh, the food does cost money. We eat this a lot. I miss having warm dinners. Uh, let's see. Oh, so there's a job system. Okay. So I'll get a job soon, then maybe you'll get better food. Um, to get better food, I need a job. I'm trying to find one. I'll get a job and we'll buy lots of food. <laughs> uh, to better food, I need a job. I'm trying to find one. Uh, let's see. Uh... Yeah, so do I. I'll find a job soon, and then you'll get better food, I promise. I hope so. <laughs> Finding work. There are jobs to apply for. Go to the study and look through the newspaper. Alright. Alright, I'll be back, darling. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to be a boatman. Maybe? Am I going to be a boatman? We need four more workers at the old factory. Steady job, Monday to Saturday. You know, that seems typical. Uh, tap to write. I read your ad for factory work and hereby wish to apply. I am a hard worker who would be very grateful for a steady job. Please consider me for your position. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. Uh, okay, that was nice. Since it's Sunday today, how about we can go? How about we can go explore the forest? I mean, potentially. <laughs> the flying castle and another flying castle and another flying castle. <laughs> Uh, sure. You don't have to always buy things. We can find food, too. That is fair. That is extremely fair. Foraging is a thing. Which is good, since the store is always cl stores closed on Sundays. Okay, that is good to know. Alright. New area unlocked outside. Forest and lake. Alright, honey. Get your get some clothes on, and we're gonna go. Alright. Oh, look. So many things to pick. Uh, ooh. Mushrooms. Mushroom. Mushroom. Look at all these mushrooms. And, um, okay, uh, this? What is that? I didn't think we'd find any berries today. Oh, just general berries? Okay, cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's get the last thing of berries. We can make blueberry jam! Okay, and I guess that's nothing else hidden. Pat, 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 pat. Very good. All right. So let's go ahead and make some food real quick. Uh, let's do the mushrooms. Yeah. Tap, tap, tap. Mushroom on toast. I mean, that's not bad. <sighs> you time for bed, kiddo? Time for bed, kiddo. Yeah, what's up? So I was drawing today and I had an idea. I can help us earn money. We can sell my drawings. <laughs> I mean, that's a very, very good idea. Very, very good idea. We'll work hard, both of us, together. Yeah, I like that. We can help each other! A story before sleep would be nice. Do you have time? <sighs> I mean... Yeah... I should make food. Because I can make food during the night, I assume. Sure, of course. 
Nice, thank you. All right. The flying castle came by to say hello once again. Um, the little girl asked the flying house, Where are you going all this time? I see you going from the east to the west all the time. And the flying castle said, I will tell you upon the morrow eve if you are a good girl. I guess that works. All right, uh, good night. It's pretty outside. Liv is back today. She said I can go and play with her at noon. Okay, and that's fine. Oh, job allocation. We are happy to offer you a job at our factory. Please start your earliest convenience from August 21st. Okay. Sounds good. And another newspaper. All right. What does it say? Hmm. Let's see. So... I got a job, which is good, but I'm going to start being away during the day. So that way, because she, she's seven years old. She should know why I'm gone for a certain period of time. That's good, but I'll miss you. Aw, I'll miss you too, honey bun. How about I come with you? I can have a grown-up job. <laughs> no, honey. <laughs> do well in school first. That's all that matters right now. Okay, I'll do really well at school. I'll be the best in my class. All right, sounds good. All right, how about you help me make some food? All right, well, I'll probably should feed you a little first. Uh, up and wide. Very good. All right, and just one more thing of food because I feel like you're gonna need it. Um, okay. Um, let's split on out. Uh, help me make some food. Uh, let's make some jam, yeah. Jam on toast! Berries on toast! There we go. Um, you said you might fix some of my old clothes soon. Ye uh, totally! They're nice. I like them except for the holes. Holes are no good. Thanks! <laughs> sure thing, hon. I'm going then! Okay, you best be safe now! Crafting. You can craft and mend items in your spare time. Visit the kitchen table. Alright, I shall mend clothes. Oh! Okay, uh, let's pick this one. Okay, so is that fixed? Did I fix it? Um... Okay, so it takes two. Alright, it takes two units to fix the thing in clothes. Ha! Uh! Honey! You are a mess! Liv is funny! I've had a drawing for you, see if you can find it! Um, okay, but first in four fucking... Oh my god, you're adorable. Is that Liv? Oh, you are too sweet. I love that. All right, but hold on. You need a bath, young lady. Oh my goodness gracious. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> you have school tomorrow. You can't be messy and stinky. Oh my goodness. Uh, how we make some more food? Let's make another thing of jam. There we go. We'll have food then for tomorrow for you. It's getting late. It is. All right, let's get you to bed. Come on. <laughs> when I wake up, I'll be a schoolgirl. I, I wonder what it'll be like at school. Hmm. You seem a little nervous. Are you looking forward to it? I don't know. I think so. I just hope I'll make lots of new friends. I hope so too. Work hard and you'll do great. Okay. You're probably work you're probably right. I'll work hard, I promise. Can you read me a bedtime story? Uh, uh, tomorrow. I can't read to you I don't think I can read to you every night. I think I need to do adult things at night, so maybe tomorrow. Oh, okay then. Good night. Good night, darling. All right. I I do have mail. I made food. I can look at the mail. Yeah, I'll take a look at the mail real quick. See what's going on. In the news, skybound conflict above Korea. 17 American F-86 jet planes and almost 60 communist MIG aircraft met in a violent battle above North Korea today. Eesh. Jesus. Um, 
Oh goodness! Yay! I keep her, I keep her picture in a photo album. I love that. All right, so I think we are good. Good night. Today is the day. I'm starting school like a big girl. Hmm. How like are you excited? Mm-hmm. We waited so long to go to school. Oh, and it's your first day at your new job, too! Mm-hmm. I'll be going to my work as you'll be going to school. So maybe soon we can afford a nice backpack to carry my school books. I think I saw one in the shop. Hmm. We will see, but you'll have to do well at school. I'll do my best to get at you one, but you have to do well at school. Okay, I'll work hard! Alright, now let's get some food in you real quick. Um, alright, so to start your day, how about some protein for your brain? Very, very good. And then uh, some, some savory and some sweet. Here you go. Very good. Feed the baby. Very nice. Okay. And then let's go ahead and wipe off your face, darling dear. Make you nice and fresh and clean for when you go into the place. Um... <sighs> what else could we do? Could we change your clothes? Yeah, let's change your clothes, har da har darling dear. You Let's go into the nice, fresh, clear clothes. There you go. Um, I'm nervous. Do you think you can walk me to school? Uh, yeah, sure. How about we walk some of the way together? Really? Thanks, you're the best! Going to school. To send Karen to school, go outside and tap the red building. School lasts until the afternoon. Okay, sounds good. All right. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Thank you for walking me here. The school is really big, isn't it? Hmm. Let's see. Be strong and be confident. Show everyone how smart you are. Moms well, would be nice and polite. Hmm. I don't trust teachers. I don't trust teachers worth a damn. So... Be nice and polite. Everyone will think you're great. I'll be nice to everyone. Bye! Bye, darling. I guess that's a factory. Chain gang is the sound of the men working on the chain. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I shouldn't sing that. That's terrible. All right, moving along. Um, 180. She said the shop was had. Oh, 200. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, hmm. Uh. Okay, maybe next paycheck because I was at like what what 111, so I get 70 a day. I could get that next paycheck. So, tomorrow? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Honey? I'm home. How was your first day of school? School was... strange. Not nice at all. I was trying to make some friends, but... Well... Everybody kept staring at me and didn't talk to me. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Did you try talking to anyone? I think I was too nervous. <laughs> and that's perfectly fine. It was really scary. They looked so angry. You said it would be fun, but it wasn't. <sighs> if they keep being nasty, you let me know, okay? I will. I just wanted everyone to like me. <sighs> How to react? Yeah, it's just... I know that not everyone will like her. Not even all likes people. Like, people are fucking rude. Yeah, it's like, people like that aren't worth your time, honey bun. You have your friend, you have Liv. And those who see you for how nice you are will actually come and talk to you. You're right. 
I don't like them at all. They're mean and stupid. Honey, don't call them mean and stupid off the bat. They are just trying, so they're kids. They're stupid. But you don't have to deal with them. You don't have to deal with their crap. So you just do you and you just do your own thing. You're okay. Don't even stress. Now let's wipe up a little bit. I see a little dirt on you. All right. Now. Got nothing here. How about you help me sew up your next dress, okay? Can you help me look at my school book? Sure. Yeah. My teacher might ask someone to ask her questions tomorrow. Yes, of course. Come on. Okay, thank you. The book is in my room. Ready? Here we go. If Lynn and Pierre each had an apple, and Lynn gives Pierre her apple... Okay, so Lynn doesn't have an apple, Pierre has two apples. How many apples does Pierre... She has... Pierre has two apples. Yes, that's what I thought too! Okay, next one. If Pierre then ate one of his apples, how many apples would he have left? One apple. Mm-hmm. Alright, last one. Pierre's mom brings four more apples, and she tells Pierre and Lynn to share all of the apples fairly, so five apples. And how many apples should Pierre give to Lynn? Two and a half apples, because there's five apples in total. What? He already had two apples from before, even if he ate one. Oh, <laughs> trick question. I'm sorry. So that wouldn't be fair. <laughs> That's fair. Yay, we're done! Thanks for the help. Our peace. Oh, honey. Oh, honey bun. <sighs> Darling. <sighs> okay, um, well, how about we play some ball? <laughs> End the day off with a little happy note. You'll always have a home here. I'm so tired after today. I could sleep a whole week. Well, you can't sleep a whole week. That would be unhealthy. I'm not sure I like school. Even the teacher, Miss Hansen, seemed kind of mean. Really? Growing up means learning from the challenges you face. Yeah, I would say that. You don't have to earn anyone's respect. Their respect doesn't fucking matter. Their opinions do not matter. But growing up does mean you have to face challenges that whatever lays on your path and you have to kind of be strong through it. Maybe I've changed my mind. Darling? Maybe I don't want to be grown up after all. Um, can you maybe read me a st Yes, darling, for you. Okay, thank you. You heard my cat? <laughs> you heard Pepper? Alright, so... She waited for the flying castle the morrow night. And the flying castle returned with silks from all across the universe. The little girl gasped in awe. And the castle invited her inside. There we go. Alright. Hopefully things get better. We'll get the rest of our books soon. I don't have a backpack, though. The other kids have backpacks for their books. <laughs> See, as it happens, I might be getting you a backpack very soon. Really? Oh, wow, I hope we can afford one! Working on it. Okay, looks like we got some newspapers. Alrighty. Look at all this mail. It's just a newspaper. Oh, it's fine. L let's feed you some food, honey bun. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and feed you some dryum. Alrighty. And then, uh, a cheese sandwich. There you go. <laughs> Very good. Alright, let's get you washed up. Alright, wipe your face. Wipe, 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 up. Oh, nope, never mind. That doesn't do jack crap. Alright, so, um... Well... How about we change your outfit? Let's go ahead and change your outfit. Uh, let's go with the blue one this time. Boop! Very good. I, I'm not sure that I want to go. But I have to go or Liv will be on her own. Maybe the kids would be nicer if I was like them. And had a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it, honey bun. I'm working on it. <sighs> yes, we're getting a backpack. Can I get one? Mm. 
Yes, but for school, not to prove your worth to others, do you understand? And I do mean that. Mm-hmm, I understand. All right. I guess I'm getting a backpack on the way home from work. Let's go. Working, working, working. Gotta go to work. Work, 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 work. All right, so let's pick up this backpack. Um, definitely some food. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Ingredients, I'm assuming, for like some sort of fish meal or something like that. We have 25 gold! Oh, God! <laughs> we have 25 gold! Oh, God! Alrighty. Honey, what happened now? But... What? Somebody called me a bad word today. Okay, what kid called you a bad word? They said I'm a bastard. Because I don't have a real family. <sighs> That's really unkind of them. Our family is a little different, but different isn't bad. But I don't want to be different. I'm sorry, I... I like our family. But... They all have a mom and dad. No one got left behind. Who are my parents? I want to know. You promised me. I promised what? pre Michaela, you promised what? <laughs> You said you would tell me when I was big, and look, I'm big n Hey, 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 do not give me that attitude. Why? Why would they call me a... A bastard? <sighs> I think you're old enough to know. In my personal opinion, I think you're old enough. That word just means your parents aren't married, which is actually true. But that doesn't matter. Regardless of who your parents are, that doesn't change who you are. You weren't married? Who were they? I wish I knew more about my parents. Please tell me! <sighs> I'll try to find out more. Even if it might be unpleasant. She, If she is getting the brunt of her parents' decision, then she absolutely deserves to know about her parents. If she is getting the brunt of the hatred about her parents, she deserves to know why. Promise. Promise that you'll find out. I promise I'll try. I'll finally know who my parents are. Will do. What's that? I... I, I don't know. I... Mm, I... Mm, I... You... Mm, I guess. Is it a backpack? It is, isn't it? It is! It is! There you go. I made your day better, kid. You got one just like you promised! Thank you so much. It's perfect! <laughs> just be careful. Well, you deserve it. I can't wait to show this to Liv! Absolutely not. Let's wipe the muck off your face. Come on. You been playing in the mud again? Seriously. Come on, sweetheart. You can't be doing that all the time. Now help me make some food. Alright, so what is this? Chop- we're chopping some meats. Oh, we- we cooking a stew? We made a stew! Very nice. Hey, let's play! Uh... How about we go outside? Yeah! Make- do more foresting! Yay! Okay, sure, like, yeah, we'll, we'll go outside and we'll do more foresting stuff. Uh, berries! Look, more berries! It's getting late. We should head back home. We had fun, though. Mm-hmm. Very good. All right. Get in bed, stinker. School is different than I expected. The other kids aren't as fun as I thought. But maybe learning new things will be fun. <laughs> learning is why you're there. Your yeah, school is complicated, but you're a smart kid. Things will change now that I'm all grown up, huh? Even as you grow, you'll still be my little girl. Gross. <laughs> I'm big now, you know, I can take care of myself. Are you sure about this, Connie Bun? <laughs> and I'll be there to take care of you. <laughs> well, I guess you are older than me. I'm much older than you, my darling. But I can take care of you too. <laughs> okay, honey. I'm sorry if I made you upset. No, you did not. 
You did not make me upset. I don't need another parent. I have you. It would just be nice to know about them. I'll see what I can find out. Now bedtime. Mm-hmm. Can you read me that story I like? <sighs> tomorrow. I'll read it tomorrow. I have to write to your mom. Good night, then. I know. A journal has been added to the study. The child needs food. I know the child needs food, but I am very limited on funds right now, guys. Here's the thing. If I was able to get, like, if I was able to put mother load in the chat, like, in the cheats for this game, sure, I would feed the child until she was absolutely full. Give me a while to get some money! <laughs> and plus, feeding her does take a time point. That could be used to, like, forage for food and all that stuff. Fixing her clothes. Give me a bit! Give me a bit! All right, let's see what... Adoption paper. This is the adoption papers. Name of mother, Siri... Uh... Felvik? I do not know how to pronounce these. Uh, Strangata 41, Skoskan. All right. All right. Dear Siri, I know I promised to leave you alone, but I have to write to you now. Karen has started school, and what we feared is happening. She really needs to know the truth about her father. Could you please tell me more for Karen's sake? Kind regards. I can only hope that she will respond. Alright, and what's going on in the papers? What kind of scandalous gossip is in the papers? Advertisement. Buy your backpacks at Steenland Sport. This week only. We have several colors and models handy for hiking. We also have a range of colorful of wonderful school backpacks. Well, I already did that, so la mal. Um, I guess this is the journal. Okay. August 22nd, 1951. Dear Karen, Today I promised that I would find uh, about more about your parents. But I don't know if I will be able to find the answers you hope for. So I'm starting this journal. I'll give it to you when you are old enough to understand. If I can't learn the story of your parents, at least you'll know I tried. And you'll know more about the war and what happened afterwards. This is what I know. Three years ago, I answered an ad in the newspaper saying, Three-year-old child up for adoption. Reference, child, war child. I dearly wanted a child, as I hope you know in your heart. Your mother told me that your father was a German soldier, and that she was only 16 and unmarried, and she had you in 1944. She refused to say more. She had married a man from the Resistance, and made me promise to keep you away from her new life. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Alright. Is there anything else I can click on? Nope. It's just that. Alright. <sighs> Nighttime. <laughs>